Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome to Plan Miss Day One. I hope you guys liked that cute little intro. Um, I really wanted a new intro for Plan Miss, so this will be the one that I'll be using for the next couple of weeks. Um, my plan was originally to post 12 days of videos, but I think I'm going to start today as you're watching this. So I think it might actually end up being 13 days of videos. I'm not sure. We'll kind of see. Maybe I'll stop after 12. But yeah, I'm going to be posting a new video, whether it's a plan with me or some sort of planner related video like a B6 setup or I'm thinking of doing my sticker organization, so on and so forth. So I hope you guys are excited about that because I'm super excited about it. But anyways, um, I started, or I should say where the kit is from. It's from the Graceful Planner, super pretty foiled kit that I used, um, I believe it was last month or a few weeks ago, yeah, um, towards the end of November, and I had a ton of leftovers. I was really excited because I really loved the florals in it and wanted to use some of the stickers that I had left over. But I did start with these headers. I didn't have any headers in the kit that I could still use, like, you know, enough for every single day so I pulled in this roll of rose gold little like banner headers um, like scalloped ones these are from rose colored days I had such a hard time aligning them and the paper that I use is so freaking sensitive it's crazy like you put anything down on it you can't move it unless it's with undo um, I use 28 pound hammer mill paper in case you're wondering but um, yeah, anytime that I would like lay it down, it would like kind of rip up a little bit when I would try to adjust it. So it was a bit of a struggle bus. So I kind of, you know, sped it up even faster. But um, I think they turned out super cute. I like how it looks and it adds a lot of foil, which is always nice. And then now I'm moving on to my sidebar. Um, I started at the bottom. I used this strip of washi. It was actually part of the bottom washi, but when I'd used the kit originally, I cut down the bottom washi to be a little bit skinnier. I think I added like an extra strip of like bow washi or something to it. Um, but I had like a strip that I could cut down for my sidebar, which is what I did. I'm also realizing that I'm using the leftovers from this kit, but I don't think I've posted the full spread from when I used this kit on Instagram yet, but I'll post that probably within the next few days, maybe, I don't know, tomorrow. And also speaking of Instagram, I'm actually doing um, like an Instagram vlogmas and that started today since um, I said I would start once I finished my finals and I finished yesterday, which is so exciting. Um, but obviously this plan with me is from when I was still in school, but I am doing Insta vlogmas. So if you guys do want to like follow me around, see what I do day to day, of course, it's very different than any other year because we are still in lockdown. Um, well, you know, sort of lockdown, COVID times, pretty much can't go too many places, but it should be really fun. So far, I'm having a good time and I hope you guys are enjoying it. I was showing behind the scenes of me filming this video. So yeah, definitely go check me out on Instagram. It's uh, planning like a pro on, on there. Back to my sidebar on top of the strip of washi that I cut down. There was this little three bow checklist that I used. And then I put a to-do header from the kit and then I cut down I think two more strips of washi there to kind of make a background for the habit tracker that I used and that was also from the kit. Everything in the sidebar was from the kit other than this study script and that is just one from my shop. I'm just filling out this little section here, but I don't know why I never really thought to use these scripts in the sidebar, like in my habit trackers until not long ago. I mean, I have the to do in this week ones that were like kind of made with the intention of potentially putting them in the sidebar, especially the this week one. But I don't know, I've been loving putting the study one in my habit tracker, which I think is such a cute idea. So love that. Um, I also might use the like workout script in the sidebar since that's something that I've been doing now. Um, obviously once, now that I'm done school, I can, you know, track workouts and stuff. Not really track, just, just a reminder. You guys know how I do with my habit trackers. Anyways, on to Monday, I had a test this day. I had a pharmacology test, so I used a um, like flag from the kit and it also had a really cute foiled bow detail at the top and I really liked that. Then I grabbed a strip of washi in place of a little quarter box as well as this shopping bag icon from the kit 
and that was to mark down that Yanni and I went to the mall just to like grab some coffee and walk around a little bit. Then I used um, an arrow from the kit. It had a cute foiled bow to mark that we went to Yanni's house. I think this was the day that we went and his niece was over. I believe it was. Um, so yeah, she was there and so freaking cute. I feel like every time we talk about her, I just say how cute she is, but she really is. <laughs> and then I came home and was working on a bunch of orders and prepping for Black Friday already. So I used a little latte icon. Um, I don't know. I just, I thought coffee, I always drink coffee when I'm working. I mean, really, I always drink coffee at any point of the day. I usually have a cup of coffee next to me, but um, I used that and that's from my shop as well as the work script as well. And then I realized that I hadn't put down my date dots, so I went ahead and did that. The date dots I used are the bow date dots or date numbers that are from my shop as well. Then moving on to Tuesday, I used a flag from the kit and a payday script from my shop. I love when my scripts all match. I did pull in one other script that's um, not from my shop, but I do really like having uh, scripts that all kind of have at least a similar vibe. And the one that I pull in, you'll see on Friday, um, still has like a very like, you know, handwritten scripty vibe. So I thought it was fine. Underneath payday, I marked that I had a call with my dermatologist and that cell phone icon is from the kit. The Graceful Planner has such cute icons, um, both in her shop and in her kits. I have some of her doodle icons and I really hope she comes out with more because they're super cute and I usually like to stick somewhat to, you know, one style or one shop's like doodles within a week. So I usually try to only buy um, doodle icons that are like not foiled if a shop has, you know, a decent amount of them, but hers were just so cute and I hope she does more of them. Anyways, underneath that, I marked that I was watching Dream Home Makeover, which is the Studio McGee show on Netflix, which was really good if you haven't seen it yet. And then I was also working on orders. So I packed orders this day and I also mailed them this day. Um, and so I marked that with a little third box from the kit. And then this printer icon is one of the doodles from my shop. And then I kind of wrote it weird where there was like a big gap of space between the printer and my handwriting. So I just pulled in a tiny heart from my shop to take up that room and also foil up that little box. Then Wednesday, I had a plan with me go live and it was perfect because this kit did have some circle uh, bow icons, which is often what I use to mark my videos. I moved to the bottom of the day to mark that Yanni and I watched Prison Break with this little label from the kit that has a cute bow on it. I pulled in this mini divider, mini leaf divider from my shop. And then her kit also did have these very cute half scallop um, like circles or half scallops. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have like too much writing room. Like I really could only fit about one word in there but I was only marking that I was studying, so it was kind of perfect. I do wish some of the colors were also a little bit lighter in them because I feel like you can't really tell that I wrote much in there unless you're like kind of looking for it, but maybe it's just this kit and the bolder florals made it kind of hard to see. Um, on a Thursday, I was doing a lot of studying because I had a test on Friday, so I used a flag from the kit with another one of the third boxes, and then I used an Ava at her desk kind of making notes. Um, that's from my shop. And then I do also pull in one of these swooshes from my shop as well um, to take up a bit of room at the top. I think that turned out really cute. I love layering either like two half boxes, two third boxes, or lately like a strip of washi and a half box or like a flag like this. I just think it's really cute. And then underneath it, I did mark that I cleaned my brushes this day and that brush sticker is from Hello Petite Paper. She's also another shop that I really love her doodles and hope that she does more. Um, hers are so freaking cute and I know she has like another style, but I really love this kind of like newer range of icons that she's been doing. I just, I'm excited and I hope she does a lot more of them because I'll buy them all. <laughs> Um, Friday, I did some yoga in the morning, so I used a yoga mat icon from my shop, and then that yoga script is from Silver Antler Co. I don't think her shop is open anymore, but 
Um, I thought the scripts just, you know, were perfect, obviously, because I was doing yoga. And like I said, they also matched kind of the vibe that my scripts have where they're a little more, you know, like have the elongated ends. So I thought it went together. And then I marked my test this day the same way that I did on Monday uh, with one of these like flags from the kit that have the little bow accent. And then once I finished my test, Yanni and I decided to go to the mall. We went to a mall that's like a little bit further. Um, you'll often see that I mark that we go to a mall and that's just one that's like probably like five to ten minutes from our house. Um, and that one is like not the best mall. It doesn't have the best stores or anything. So that one we just go usually like we'll like grab a coffee or like walk around. There's like maybe two or three stores that we like there. We just like go to have something to do. <laughs> Um, but this time we went to like a nicer mall. If you guys are from the like GTA, like greater Toronto area, we went to Yorkdale as you can see there. And I marked it with another third box from the kit. I grabbed a little arrow icon from the kit and then the credit card is actually also from the kit. Then, um, I had this cute weekend script in the kit and it was just super small. So I was like kind of confused as to how I was supposed to use it, but I thought since I had the longer strips of washi from when I cut down the bottom washi, I thought I could just cut that down to fit across both days and then layer this in the middle. And I actually think it turned out really, really cute. And it's like foiled and I like the script. It was just super small. So I was a little bit confused, but I really like that. I think that's like really cute. Then I was trying to show it to you guys, like the foil in it, and I realized that my like headers kind of bubbled up since they're on like clear tape. They had some like air bubbles in them. So I went ahead and uh, like pushed my ruler throughout it to take some of those air bubbles out. And for the most part, it worked. Then this day I marked that I was working again, working on orders. So I used another one of these scallops. Uh, from the kit and then this work script from my shop I kind of layered it um, a little bit higher so that I can see you know what it said in there obviously I can see it when I like wiggle it and everything but I wanted to be able to see it in general and then my friend's birthday was the like following Monday on the 30th and this was the 21st but we were going into lockdown and so we decided to have a little birthday dinner for her um, obviously outdoors and everything. It was so freaking good. Um, it was a little unfortunate because we couldn't all sit together. They had to give us two separate tables and they put us on opposite sides of the restaurant for some reason. I think it's just so that we like wouldn't be walking back and forth to one another, but it was a little annoying because we, you know, couldn't really talk at all, but you know, I still had fun with the people at my table. But to mark that, I did use an arrow from the kit and then a meal icon from my shop. Then Sunday, I marked that I was binge watching Working Moms, which I love so much. I talked about it in the last plan with me that I really love that it's like located in Toronto or it takes place in Toronto and it's just really fun. You know, I feel like not a lot of shows are or even a lot of them do, like are filmed in Toronto, but they say it's like another city. They say like New York, like I'm thinking of suits I think that says it's like in New York but it's really filmed here so you know it, it's just nice to see my city <laughs> um, but I marked it with a TV bow icon from my shop and layered it on top of another arrow then I wanted to pull in another one of the mini leaf dividers to bring it to this side of the spread so I did that and then marked working again I used a label from the kit and then I used this really cute like shop icon. I thought that was really perfect and that was from the kit. And then the work script is the same one that I've been pulling in um, from my shop. But yeah, I think this turned out so freaking cute. Like you'll see when it's all back in my planner here in a second. And it turned out like very foiled, which I love. I love when there's like a lot of color and a lot of foil. And I think this kit really did that where... The florals are very colorful, but the foil is still like, bam. I feel like it's all thanks to the headers. So I'll definitely be pulling these headers in. I have them in all three foils, so that's pretty perfect, but I'll definitely be pulling them in. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.